Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Are You Ready This Afternoon. I pray you're having a very blessed day in the Lord. Let's have a little coffee now. It's afternoon. Salud. Mmm. Great coffee. <laughs> Amen. Well, I pray you're having a very blessed afternoon. Jesus loves you. We have something very important, as you can see. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask for your divine direction. Holy Spirit, talk, touch everyone that is watching may they be ministered by your holy spirit thank you lord in jesus name amen all right here we go everybody uh if you're watching are you ready please subscribe okay pentagon orders stand down address to address extremism in the ranks the order from secretary of defense austin comes as military struggles with what it knows about troops who have extremist ideologies ladies and gentlemen what are those okay uh, uh, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin on Wednesday ordered a military-wide stand-down ad to address the kind of extremism within the ranks that was thrust into public view on January 6, when supporters of President Donald Trump, including some active-duty war veterans, forcefully stormed the U.S. Capitol. The death of detail, uh, the dearth of details about the stand-down highlights the apparent lack of understanding overall on the issue of extremism among military leaders. Okay, well, let's go here, ladies and gentlemen. We must ask God for discernment in the last days. Let's listen to this uh, CNBC. The Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin ordering a service-wide stand-down for the next 60 days. The goal, give military leaders the chance to address extremism in the ranks. This comes after the Pentagon was surprised to find veterans and active duty service members among the Capitol rioters last month. Leo Shane now, he's deputy editor of the Military Times. Leo, thanks for coming. How big of an issue is extremism in the ranks? Do we know? Well, that's the real question here. The military hasn't done any really good surveys up to this point to find out just how many folks might be affiliated. Our paper has done one for the last four years among our readers. We've seen that about a third of all service members and about half of all minority service members report seeing some signs of extremism, white supremacy. But the military has said they think that's high, but they can't really refute it because they've never looked at the numbers before. So this 60 days should be a chance for them to, to really assess that and get a sense of whether or not we're right, which we think we are, or whether or not they're right, and it's a, a very small problem. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's, get, let's go to Fox News. What is really happening? Uh, we must ask God for direction. Let's listen to Fox. A piece of equipment, an airplane or something. And it, it, it forces the entire chain of command to get very introspective, take a look at itself and see what its, what its uh, patterns of behavior are, what the issues are here. And I, I think this is something that uh, is right on the mark as far as I'm concerned. What, what the DOD has is some evidence uh bona fide evidence that we've had dod members largely military uh participate in the assault on the capitol and also an indication that there's also military members of dod who belong to white supremacist or militia organizations that uh are get the antithesis of the values of the united states of america so that these are this is not a large group of people but i the fact that this is a cancer inside our organization and you got to deal with it, I applaud the secretary for getting after this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we must ask God to give us understanding. As we see, this is uh, what's happening. According to the Secretary of Defense, as you can see, Lloyd Austin, a stand down for 60 days to find out is are there extremists? Who are they? What do they mean by extremists that will come out in the future? Uh, is America military putting uh, God first? That's something to think about. Who do we put God? Are we putting God first in America? We need to answer that question. And that is, I think that is the important thing. That's one of the most important things we need is to put God first, then everything else will fit into place. Let's read here. And 3 John chapter 1, verse 4 says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Are we walking in truth? Are you walking in truth? Is what we're seeing truth? What is it? Ask God to give you this sermon. If you don't know Jesus, say yes to Jesus right now. We're running out of time. I encourage you, come to Christ. And please subscribe to Are You Ready? Live for Jesus, everybody.